All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam uh, three, problem number four, part B. All right, so let's evaluate this um, uh, limit. All right, so if you plug in, uh, let's say, uh, x goes to infinity, so you can see that the one over x uh, goes to zero, right? But the power is going to infinity. So uh, you can see that uh, you are having uh, one, uh, 1 to the infinity, right? So this is one of those uh, indeterminate form. So we, we will be able to apply L'Hopital's rule, right? So here's the first trick. So uh, what we want to do is we want to somehow bring this x down. And the good tool to use is the uh, natural log. So you have uh, limit as uh, x approaches infinity, right? Then we're going to do uh, e to the natural log, right? Remember that the exponential function and the log functions are inverses of each other, so they basically cancel out. So you have uh, 1 plus 1 over x raised e to the x power, right? Then what we want to do is we can use the log property to move this uh, power x and uh, put it in front, right? And uh, better yet, we can actually, uh, instead of writing as a multiply by x, we can write it as divide by 1 over x, right? You can see that the multiply by x is equivalent to divide by 1 over x, right? The reason why we want to do that is so that we have a quotient form so that we can easily apply L'Hopital's rule. Right, so let's do this. Right, so as x approaches infinity, you can see that the denominator approaches 0. Right, numerator, uh, so this guy approaches 0, which means that the whole thing approaches natural log of 1. But the natural log of 1, as we know, uh, is 1, so uh, is 0, sorry. So it approaches zero. All right now we have zero over zero. All right. Remember that uh, in order to apply uh, L'Hopital's rule, you have to have uh, zero over zero, or infinity over infinity. All right. So we have zero over zero. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. All right. So uh, we're gonna apply L'Hopital's rule here. All right. And another thing I would do is, since the exponential function is continuous, we can squeeze this limit inside the exponential function. So it's a e to the limit as x approaches infinity. Then you have, right, so we take the derivative of the bottom. So derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, right? And derivative of natural log of 1 plus 1 over x is, right, so put whatever inside the natural log as the uh, denominator and take the derivative of, put it on top. So derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, right? Then you can see that, that we can actually cancel uh, negative 1 over x squared here on the bottom and here is uh, 1 here. Alright, so what you get is really, uh, so this is equal to uh, e to the limit as x approaches infinity and on top you get 1, then you have 1 plus 1 over x. Alright, then we know that uh, here um, as x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. So the whole thing is going to go to 1 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. So you're going to have e to the first power, which is going to be e. Right? Right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.